All right. This is Alejandro Guardado. That's a different Alejandro. It is. We had an Alejandro Reynoso. Reynoso. That's right. And Alejandro Reynoso. Reynoso. And this one is? Alejandro Guardado. Guardado. Okay. Yes. He coming it's in from where? Alejandro from <laughs> Washington State. <laughs> <laughs> At least the other Alejandro was from Monterrey, Mexico. Yes, Monterrey, Monterrey, Mexico. Well, Mexico. Wasn't, he, wasn't he from Mexico? Yes, he from Mexico. Yeah, he yeah. was in Mexico. Mexico. Okay, uh, so maybe it's just Al Alex. Is yeah. They call him. <laughs> you can call me Alex, though. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, 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 what you doing? Can I, can I join? <laughs> hey, got a question for you, dudes. <laughs> the uncoolest person in the room. <laughs> you go from the... the, the uh, the the most the most interesting man in the world right to <laughs> right to hey call me Alex <laughs> okay Alejandro from Washington State what from do you Washington have? State he says I'm a new Patreon member oh nice well welcome Thanks, to the buddy. I get to my voice welcome to the universe there you go oh yeah you've been officially birthed into our family bro and by uh, the way I think you do get a lower voice to me but you you don't sustain it I can. you have that whiskey voice uh, that's why. I I can't sustain it because oh. it's I'm drunk right now. <laughs> he says, uh, my question is, what are good ways to wrap your head around partial or even complete vacuums? For example, space. I am still trying to wrap my head around fans not working in space. And, <laughs> and I'm wondering. That's a weird thought. Uh, it <laughs> is. Why don't fans work in space? And I'm wondering why these. The, the, the rotor is spinning. Yeah, I can't. I'm <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> So, still hot. <laughs> I don't understand how I'm hot and it's only like three degrees Kelvin in here. Anyway, he says, uh, uh, I'm wondering why these things work the way they do. What, what is the vacuum of space? I mean, uh, that's a very weird, like. There's a deeper question there. Go ahead. And it's, what is nothing? What is nothing? Yeah. The best vacuum we've ever created was in the detector, was it? of the Large Hadron Collider. Oh, cool. Because you don't want those particles hitting stuff they don't want them to hit. That's right. They, they, no, you got to suck everything suck out of there, all man. Out. And one of the problems is material. I did this when I was in college. I worked at Bell Labs for one summer, and we, we explored different vacuums uh, because we were testing for uh, superconducting materials, mm -hmm. and you want a very sort of pristine environment for that. To, but anyhow, so... So you can, we have a cavity and you suck out all the, the gas until the pump can't pump out any more out. You say, that's pretty good. Here's what you do next. You heat the walls. They're gas particles that got stuck in the texture of the surface of the cavity. You heat the walls. They all jump out. You see the pressure go back up just by heating it. Then you suck that out. Now you cool it down. And then you have a way better vacuum than you otherwise would have. But still, the particles left over there. So we do okay with our vacuums. You leave our atmosphere very far between the planets. That's an even better vacuum. Mm. You go outside the solar system between the stars. That's an even better vacuum. You go outside the galaxy between the galaxies. That's an even better vacuum. And last I ran the numbers on that, that vacuum has one particle every cubic meter. That's correct. And, and you're t one particle. Yeah, yeah, one particle per cubic meter. So leave your fan at home. <laughs> That's the lesson here. But if you take away that particle, then what is that? Is there nothing there? No, there is still something there. Mm. The laws of physics are still there. <sighs> If you want a, a place where there's nothing, shouldn't you be removing the laws of physics as well? Now, now we're talking like we we're we're outside of matrix stuff now. <laughs> well, all right, let, let me not even get there yet. That's not let, even a loading program anymore. <laughs> Let's not even get there yet. Now there's no particles there. Okay. There is light passing through it. The cosmic microwave background uh, visiting the region. Right. Okay. And there's something called virtual particles that pop popping in and, in and out, out of, of existence. existence. Quantum physics dictates this. 
And so there's a vacuum of no regular particles, but other stuff is happening. And through that volume is the fabric of space and time. So a real place, a real vacuum should have not only no particles, it should have no virtual particles. It should not even have a space-time continuum. And if it doesn't even have that, maybe that's how you get rid of the laws of physics. You took away the space-time. Mm. Maybe laws of physics are a part of space-time. So, yeah, this is kind of stuff you like over a beer, you know. You, Yeah, but make sure it's a zero-calorie beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know I said beer because... You would have said weed, right? That's a weed conversation. Yeah, I don't. I never I, smoke, so yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I can't relate to what that might be. That is definitely a weed conversation, <laughs> man. I'm, I'm. And by the way, and I forgot which one of my two Merlin books. Uh, they just got republished one last year, and, nice. and one is coming out in a few days. Actually, the someone asked Merlin that very Merlin was my pen name for a column that I wrote for like 10 years. Right. And people ask, the public asks, so I'm very comfortable in this Q&A environment, just mm. in case, I don't know, we didn't know that. Well, you know, I, we've been working together for a little while now, so I figured that out. <laughs> you figured that out? <laughs> <laughs> so, so one of the questions was, what what's the best vacuum? And so Merlin, is my pen name, goes through all the various vacuums. Oh, really? Yeah, and how many particles per cubic you know, meter, you know, there's a lot and then less and less and less. And so it's in there and very cleanly described. Very nice. Yeah. All yeah. right.